go all the way down the road and end here because once upon a time there was a building that educated kids that needed power. It hasn't needed it in almost 20 years. When you're in the middle of nowhere you stand out like a sore thumb exploring. This place is actually guarded by sheep. Oh crap they're rams. This might go horribly wrong. Let's just do this quickly if we can. They seem to be scared of me. Normally rams are very violent. I wonder if this is even open. If it was 18 years ago I'd be very scared by that. It's wide open, good. All right, so we're in. Oh wow. This is pretty untouched, pretty destroyed though by nature and just animals being in here. Comes around here and that's literally the entire school. Well, all that's left at least. Bird's nest. And it's wonderful droppings. On the zigzag rafter beams, there is a little bird's nest. Anything in the cupboards? No, not really. Nothing left. Anything in this cupboard? No. Is there any remnants though? Only little remnants we've got is little paint sort of remnants. Maybe they used to store paints in there. Some type of, it's like little clue goo remnants. Those clue goo remnants were probably created by kids putting away their messy glue pots. Very, very old sort of outdated school. We've still got the blackboard. Pretty much every school is updated to whiteboards now. Classic primary school heater here that is epic. Vulcan. Love the vintageness of this fan. Old fan control unit. I always love moving these louvets in LTC buildings. I always love testing if they still work. We got a casual D. Car driving past. Okay, they didn't slow down so hopefully they didn't see me. Little thing in me bob where they would have displayed the kids work. Bird's nest. This place is like overtaken by nature. We've got wasps, active wasps nest alert. Uh oh, this is something on a note. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They would have only had seven kids here in the end. Cause you can see in this room, they've ripped up the bag hook. So there would have been more back in the day, but seven was all that was needed near the end. First thing you see when you come in the room is a little kitchenette. Anything left, nothing. What's in here? Nothing, 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 nothing. What's this? Oh, asbestos. What's this? They are probably the paper backings of the little yellow asbestos warning stickers seen throughout the building. Oh my God, major wasp alert. Whoa, it's going haywire. Bird's nest and associated poo sort of disgustingness. I love these windows here and like the little Flywire, classic LTC building latches. So then off the little kitchen room is this little nook and that then leads to the main classroom. Another car going past, yikes. All right. I love these louvets and the crunchiness of the eaves. I'm pretty much done with this room now, single classroom. Let's jump out. Classic steps. Let's see the electrical board. Oh wow. That's pretty old. It's dissociated things. That would have been the school gate. Some type of concrete area, maybe like a little flag foliage type area. A portable classroom could have sat on the pad at one stage, but there were no signs of one being there that mole tube could find. <laughs> That's not a word. <laughs> Little garden growing area, still got a plant. Rockery. We're just doing it fast today, because as I said, if we get spotted. You're on private property. We know. So you're going on private property and you think that's okay, guys? No. 
we know it's wrong. I am gonna get pwned. Okay, little oval area, there's a gravel remnant. We have a tire. Looking back towards the school sheaf on deck over here. It actually ran. There's like a little concrete path sort of area here. This is really cool. You can see where a drink tap would have been. The building is painted white, but you can see back in the day it was painted pink possibly and green as well. If you look closely where the drink tap used to be, you can see there is some yellow paint as well. Okay, back to the trespassing video. Lovely concrete water tank and a lovely light timber construction room. This place is very sort of decrepit. Ooh, farming stuff. Yeah, this is probably all owned by a farmer now. Well, hence the sheep freaking out. A little bit of a path leading over to this shelter shed. The path spurs off. I'm guessing there would have been a toilet block there probably. Shelter shed. What do we have for us today? Let's just peep our heads through. Shelter shed with kids. The ones rocked out, probably used a storage shed in the later years. Cooking goo, assorted things really. Ancient printer, what is this contrived contraption? I wonder what that is. Okay, peeping through the grate. It is still locked 18 years after its abandonment. Those look like easels, possibly. Little child-sized table. Yeah, just random stuff. Another sort of plant growing area. We got some sort of ruins here, not too sure what they were for. Roof's still pretty decent on this shed. Um, anyway, coming behind, what do we have? We've got like a little bench. Um, some type of sand area with logs. Maybe this was a sand pit. There's a school, there's a path going to the shelter shed, there's a path going to this possible sand pit, and there's another path going over here, so this possibly could have been the toilets, as I was mentioning earlier. The toilets are nowhere to be seen. Do you guys know where the toilets are? Oh, that's right, you guys just go everywhere. Another car going past. I am just coincidentally wearing a high-vis shirt today, so maybe if someone drives past, we could get away with this, but uh, I wouldn't count on it. Approaching the main school building again. We have goo. I wouldn't be surprised if this water tank is full. I don't know how to turn it on. You can see they're using the original school water tank to feed the sheep water when they feel like it, obviously. Bones, bones, bones. There's the front gate to the school. There's the actual building that still remains. This could have been the oval here. Not too sure. All right. Oh no, I left the door open. What's this? Oh, some type of concrete. Quick stump view. I don't think anyone cares, but I think it's pretty cool. Anything in here? No. Classic wooden. This is where an air conditioner used to be, and now is a thriving bee's nest. Making our way to the school gate. We've got a plaque here. Hopefully this will shed some light about the school. Oh, look at this. Very old keyboard. It's been out here so long that there's no letter markings anymore. This is really weird. Normally at closed school sites, a rock just random like this has a plaque on it saying when the school was open and when it closed. It's just completely blank. Maybe because the farmer bought this before the government could just slap on the plaque. That's really sad. If I was the farmer, I would have let them put the plaque on even if no one's meant to be here. Oh, look at this. Something would have been mounted there, but someone's come and stole it or they removed it when they closed the school. They normally just leave the plaques as a little memento to the community who are left behind. Here's the original letterbox for the primary school. It's so cool that it's still here. Ill-fated plaque rock. What have you got over here? It looks to be some septic tank type remnants. Give me an abandoned school among the gum trees with lots of sheep. I love this original school gate. This is so cool. That latch is epic. Main school building over here. We've got something random metallic stuff. We used to have a lid. There's a little concrete foundation. Maybe a little barbecue or a incinerator went there. Or maybe a flagpole. Over here we have the ruins of a sand pit possibly, or maybe a small playground. Again, not too sure. It's pretty overgrown and destroyed now. Where kids used to play are now rabbit homes. Ruins of a garden bed here in front of the school. This is cool. These rocks are painted primary colors. It's quite appropriate. A primary school. They're red and yellow. Probably the old colors of the school uniform. Oh, but we've also got a green. Yeah, probably just fun rocks. It's sad to see this building in such a state, but it does look pretty cool, I've got to admit. Anyway, I think it's time to wrap it up here. Over here, there's a fence for a dam. The dam was made to water the school and the long gone teacher's house. Some type of sign here, just a real estate sign. Maybe that was for when they sold off the school. The road where my van is parked would have continued all the way into here so people could actually access the school, but obviously it has been blocked off now. 
What do we got? Rain catcher thing and a Telecom Australia pit. There's the old vehicle gate into the school. Such a waste of government facility, but at least they stripped everything out of it when they abandoned it. Walking through the farmer's paddock. I'm sorry, farmer. Just getting a shot. Classic primary school, trees lining the perimeter. This place would be a really awesome house if someone did it up. Dealing with noisy neighbors wouldn't be too much of a concern. That's pretty spooky. Being there that minute, <laughs> That YouTube could find this floor. So you got this, this. Oh, and Jesus. And it's wonderful droppings. Also, just a note, the school was opened in 1910, but the building currently on site was built much later. I don't know what happened to the original building. Can you do these ones again? Just what? Mole tube. That's <laughs> Bloody misspelled the buggery. Greasy glue pots. Greasy glue pots. Gee, 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 geez. Or maybe a fag pole. <laughs> Those clue... Glue goos. Mate, it's not a word. <laughs> it's from South Park. Pants are like mad falling off. Just do their messy glue pots. Their messy glue pots. I was talking so you got to wait. Their messy glue pots. I was pots. still talking, you got to wait like two seconds and then talk about... You're making it hard. Don't want you to do it and do, um, do the search on it, you know? Get the spelling right. They're messy glue pots. That's good.